Okay, let's go ahead and find the angle of this triangle. So uh, we're given a triangle, and it's a particular type of triangle. And the information that we have is the length of this leg and the length of this leg. But we want to find the angle, the missing angle here. So what are we going to need to solve this problem? Well, we're going to need to uh, have a basic understanding of something called these trigonometric functions called sine, cosine, and tangent. These are the basic trigonometric functions. We call them trigonometric ratios as well. And here I have a little saying. Okay, it's a super famous saying. I bet your grandparents learned this back in high school, way back in the good old days. Um, it goes like this, so katoa, and you might be saying, oh, okay, I don't even know what this guy's talking about. Well, what this stands for is so, it stands for uh, the sine is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So let's Let's kind of put some definition on this right now. So here is our angle, okay? When we're looking at a right triangle, we can kind of define the sides of this uh, triangle. Now, in a right triangle, the longest side, okay, the longest side of the right triangle, and that's going to be opposite of the 90-degree angle, okay? It should be obvious that this is the longest side. This is H, okay? This is called the hypotenuse, all right? Now, here is our angle, the leg or the side that's next to the angle, okay, right here. This is called the adjacent side, and then the side opposite of that angle is called the opposite side, okay? So anytime you're looking at an angle, you'll be able to determine the opposite side, the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse in terms of a right triangle, okay? So let's go back to this uh, little saying, uh, so katoa. So the sine of angle X will be equal to uh, OH, uh, opposite, this one, over the hypotenuse. Okay, so uh, this is the opposite, that's the hypotenuse. So that's what the, uh, the sine of that angle is defined as, all right? This is why we call these trigonometric ratios, because a ratio is just basically a, cons a comparison of two, um, uh, two values, okay, a fraction, if you will. Okay, so in here we have cosine. Cosine would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So if I had the actual um, uh, legs, okay, if this was, let's use an easy one here, a three, four, five right triangle, and these are actual uh, lengths, we can kind of, you know, calculate these out. And then tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, okay? All right, now, these are our, uh, kind of our options here. We have the sine, the cosine, and tangent. But uh, if we can uh, use one of these, or we can, if we have enough information to um, use one of these trigonometric functions, then we could solve for the angle. So let's go back to our problem here. And let me ask you, what sides do we have? I have this angle, but I have this side and this side. So what are those sides? Well, this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. So I'm going to need to use the trigonometric function that involves the opposite and the adjacent. And now let's go take a look at our options. Which one involves the opposite and the adjacent? And if you said tangent, I would say fantastic, you're paying attention. And that is exactly right. We need to use the tangent. Okay, so the tangent is TOA. It's defined as the opposite over the adjacent. Now, with the, armed with that information, let's get to the problem. Okay, so uh, now, again, we're going to use the tangent. So we can say the tangent of this angle is going to be equal to, remember, TOA, T-O-A, the opposite. So that's 5, okay? That will be this. Uh, that's going to be the opposite value here in a second. And then the adjacent is 7, okay? So let's go ahead and plug this in. So the tangent of this angle here is 5 over 7. So, you know, how is this going to help us uh, uh, find the angle? Well, well I'm going to show you this now. So go into your little calculator and take 5 and divide it by 7. You're going to get a decimal, and I'm going to kind of round it off here. You're going to get 5 divided by, five divided by 7 is going to be 0.714285. This continues on, but let's just go ahead and stop it with these uh, six uh, digits. Now, a couple of things you need to know. The, the more digits I write of this value, uh, the uh, 
more accurate my answer will be. Okay, that's just kind of, you know, you don't want to use like 0.7 or 0.714. Put in, you know, I would say a good amount of digits, maybe at least six digits to get the uh, most uh, accurate answer. All right, so we're saying the tangent of this uh, angle here, okay, whatever it is, is 0.714285. Now we have to use our calculator to ask a question. Okay, now here's the question we're going to ask our calculator. We're going to say, all right, Mr. Calculator, tell me the angle, what angle, here, I'll write it out here, what angle has a tangent equal to 0.714285, okay? Because if I can find that angle, right, what angle has a tangent that's equal to point? Uh, 714285 because this angle here, I'm like, all right, mystery angle, I know you. Uh, I don't know your actual angle measure yet, but I do know that your tangent is 0.714285. So I'm going to figure you out. Uh, what I'm trying to answer the question is what angle has a tangent equal to 0.714285? Well, this is where you need to use the arc tangent. Okay. It looks like this. Um, it's a little tangent with a negative one, and each one of these trigonometric functions has this. So you can have uh, the sine arc sine, you can have arc cosine like that, and then you can have arc tangent. Now, the way you get to this on your calculator is on your uh, calculator, you'll have a tangent button, but you also have a second function on your calculator. And if you look, like here's your button uh, on the, like the face of the calculator, you'll should see, you should see something like this. Okay, so you'll have to kind of play with your calculator. You can use these, uh, use this here as an example to know how to use it. So if I plug in, or if I hit the second function and I bring up arc tangent, this guy right here, and I uh, put in this uh, decimal, okay, this is going to tell me what angle has a tangent that's equal to 0 0.714285. So I plug this into my calculator. By the way, it's very important. Uh, that your calculator is in degree modes. We want our answer in degrees because you can have your calculator in radian modes, which uh, will give you a different answer. And then you'll end up with one of these, these little sad faces, and that's not good. Okay, so when you're working in degrees, uh, you'll have to uh, put your calculator, make sure it's in degree mode. It should be in degree mode by default. Okay. Um, if it's in radians, that means you're kind of messing around. Now, you'll also need to know how to work with radians, but that's for a different uh, topic. So just make sure your calculator is in degree modes because our answer is going to be in degrees. Okay, so we're going to uh, plug this into our calculator. It's not the tangent. It's going to be the arc tangent, this tan negative 1. You plug in your decimal just like this, and you hit enter, and this uh, pops out. Again, I'm rounding, but you're going to get 35 uh, 0.53 degrees. Okay, that's a little degree uh, sign right there. And that is the answer. Okay, 35.53 right here, 35.53 degrees. Okay, now the uh, more digits I use in terms of, of calculating 5 over 7, the more accurate uh, this becomes. Okay, so you just need to know that as well. So you don't want to round off uh, too much. You don't want to use 0.7 because this answer won't be as accurate. But this process here, um, this is how you find um, angles of right triangles. There's some, there's some kind of special case techniques, but this is basic trigonometry. Now, when do you study trigonometry? All right. Uh, if some of you are out there are like, well, when, when am I going to see this? Well, typically you'll start studying basic trigonometry and geometry. Okay, that's pretty common. But then when you move on to uh, courses like, there's some courses called Algebra 2 Trigonometry, but typically this is uh, more or less uh, covered in like a pre-calculus course, because okay, that's uh, really when you're going to uh, get into it. But this basic trigonometry stuff, you will see in geometry, at least most high school level uh, geometry courses. Okay, so if this video was interesting, and now we know, hopefully we're not scared of this anymore, we have a happy face. If you like this video uh, and you're like, oh yeah, this was useful, well then please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for a long time. What I'm focused on 
is trying to teach math in a clear and understandable way. That's my mission. And nobody should be failing math, okay? Uh, you know, if you're failing, if you're struggling, take a look at your notes, improve uh, your note taking, and then talk to your teacher, get more help. But you're going to have to take the initiative, right? Go out and find instruction that you like. If you like my teaching style, then I have tons of videos organized on my uh, playlist there. You can just, you know, learn about a lot of different topics. But my best math help will always be in my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.